This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Well, we're off to a great start here. Play, playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are 13 years of age and you consent to an exposure of highly disturbing content. I agree. Because holy shit. This is one of those visual novels where not everything is what it seems, so not everything is all moe moe or Doki Doki. Um, but I, I don't know what I'll expect, but I know I'll expect something really somewhat horrific. So you have your own name here. Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and my good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see making to uh, yourself making today. But it kind of just works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk together. We used to walk to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and now we get tired of waking up. But if she got to, if she's going to, if she's going to chase me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and it'll in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Um, I thought there was voice acting here. Yeah, but whatever. I overslept again. I'm not doing voices, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Yeah, He's, you say that you were, you were thinking about ignoring me. That's so mean, Senna. Oh my god. Well, if people stare at you for, face, for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have it in you to, mean, to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Sayori. I think I'm pronouncing that wrong. Hehehe. <laughs> I want to, I just kind of want to drop the pretense and let's let's just get on to the horror stuff cuz I I I don't want to like just ugh. by the way Senna, have you decided to join on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. Ah yes, the protagonist that doesn't join any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Uh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did, in one of her many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just by just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried about you'd ha about that you didn't learn how to socialize or any, have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? Aww. And I know you're not happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat a few years because you do, you're you not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me, don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. A look at a few clubs that makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least pr promise you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Okay. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. I just want to drop everything. I just want to stop all the moe and just get onto the core, please. I just want to see some horror action over here. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things and stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start the anime, the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out. So I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait for me if it's going to, if it's going to make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Oh, wow. No, what? Well, then you can come to my club. Sorry. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to go to your club. Yeah? Meanie. Okay. Baka! The Bakas. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Sorry is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in the literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she's only she only did it because she thought it would be fun to start to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going with the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much, anyways? Well, 
kinda told the club yesterday I was bringing a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Saori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as if to plan all this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Just for that cupcake. Nothing else. Hey, let's go! I dejectively follow Sari across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used to for a third year classes and activities. Sari, full of energy, swings open and open <laughs> and swings open the classroom door. <sighs> Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Nah. I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure to meet. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori is always saying nice things about you. I feel like this is like a hidden like Satanist club. In my, in the, you know, it's a hit. It's a hidden Satanist club. I can already feel it right now. We already have the main characters over there, so it already makes sense. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, oh, Senna, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Okay. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it! But, sorry. Natsuki. Hm, of course. The Bagas. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. We can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori. Sayori says it quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki. She's always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Of course. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Senna. What? Do I know this person? We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Small, bleh, smart, beautiful, and athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. <laughs> so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Come, sit down, Senna. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me on Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I, I got a little too excited. Then how about, I make, how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As I already mentioned, it's been a widen, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped a tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take my seat next to Sayori. Natsuki probably marches back to my table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! <laughs> this is... I don't know. <laughs> Feels weird. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate we used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Hey, hey, well, you know, I just want... Just hurry and take one. Well, I want not just to hurry and get all to the horror stuff. <laughs> Give me all the bad endings, will ya? Sari grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sari tucks with her mouthful and already has managed to get icing on her face. I turn to the cupcake around my fingers, looking for the best angle to take out the bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice but her sneaky glance is my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Is it poisoned? This is where it starts. I have finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Of course. Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Yeah, I think I've heard this somewhere before. Made them for you or anything? Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said. No, oh, maybe. But not for you. You... Uh, I don't like... The bank is... Alright, alright. I gave up on Natsuki's weird logic and <laughs> dismissed the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. 
She carefully places a teacup from in front of us before sitting down on the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, th that's not insulting. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? The literature club. Um, I was afraid of this question. I was totally not forced in by my best friend. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically directed by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy or so. That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? We're gonna treat you good and all, and then we're gonna sacrifice you to Satan and... <laughs> what? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How did you decide to start your own club? You could probably become a board member, a board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Oh yes, politics. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity that, and how to prepare for events. I'd rather much take something I personally enjoy and make something essential out of it. And if it encourages others to get the literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica is, really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. It must be hard to, to start a new club. You could put it that way. Or you could put it in that we're secretly a Satanist club. <laughs> yeah. Not very people are very interested in putting all the effort into someone to start practicing by me. If I if, if this if this is a secretly like a Satanist club, and that I would be pretty surprised. That's a good guess. That's my guess. It's, it's, this this club is a Satanist club. That's it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I don't know. Especially when something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival not much more important. I'm confident that we can all grow from this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica House has really worked hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of, by the idea of a brand new member joining. Though I still don't know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm over literature. So, Seno, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. <laughs> yes, the mangas. I quietly mutter to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants the same something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Uh, let's see. Yuri traces her rim of her teacup with her finger. Ah, yes, the old uh, teacup rim thingy. <laughs> My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and, and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on and on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements that usually immerse me as well. Yes, <laughs> psychological elements. You know, one of those is the psychological horror that I found on the Steam tags in, the game, in this freaking sacred game. Isn't it amazing how a writer that can, that can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, yes. Ah, whatever. Ah, yes. It's telling you that's gonna happen soon. I swear, it's a foreshadowing. Ah, uh, I read a horror book once. I desperate, I desperately grab- oh wait, hold on. I desperately grab something I can relate to at the minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might be as well having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For some- for someone as gentle as you. 
I guess you can say that. But if a story can make me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's dyes dart over me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Wh what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were writing a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori, Sayori settles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. <laughs> I'm not cute! Aw, it's so cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. What do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? Uh, no! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing makes takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your, to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing them even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have any writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and then help Natsuki feel comfortable and to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Hmm? Natsuki looks... Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem for, of our own. Then, next time we meet, we all share them, we all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Hmm. Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the little club. Isn't that right, Senna? Monica smiles, wa <laughs> smiles warmly at me once again. Uh, hold on, there's still one problem. Hey, what's that? Now we're back to the original topic of me joining the club. I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club! Simon and me have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have another club to look at, I don't... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare at me with like de dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. Senna? Hey, you all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, then... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Then one by one, the girls' the eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sorry wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. I mean, that's, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> Then that makes it official. Welcome to the liter Literature Club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting with a good note. Everyone remember today's assignment. Write a poem to bring the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over me once more. Senna, I look forward to seeing you how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the, star cl the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety rolling inside me. Meanwhile, as the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki, Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Senna, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? Oh, that's right. Senna and I never walk home together anymore because that she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart for the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the two four, the four girls. Saori. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monika. Will I be really ha will I really be happy spending every day in after school in the literature club? I doubt it. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Right. I'll just need to make most of the I just need to make most of the rest of them. Eh. I'll just need to make most of my circumstances, and I'm sure Gold Fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Alright, well that's uh Oh.
It's time to write a poem, everyone. Pick words from your favorite club member. Pick words you think your favorite club member will write. Something good might happen with her. Oh shit, okay, who do I like the most? Uh, let's go with her. I actually like her. We have the Sundere, and then we have... I think... No, that's Sayori. I like her, though. I'm gonna do this next time, though. Can I hate this fuck that. I don't think I'm spending too much time on this. So, uh... Alright. I'm actually gonna start right now, as you can only split it on the two. So, see ya!